Have you ever wanted to create McKinsey level presentation that looks clean, structured and powerful, but maybe you don't have the design skills or the time to create every single slide? Well, my friends, I've got some great news because in this video I'll show you exactly how to create pro-level consulting slides in PowerPoint that look amazing and are surprisingly fast to make as well. So let's dive in. And to create all of these slides quickly and easily, we'll be using this powerful AI presentation maker called Plus AI. And what's awesome is that it works directly in PowerPoint as a PowerPoint add-in, which means we don't have to jump around different apps and we can do all of the work directly in PowerPoint. So feel free to check it out as well. You can start with a free 7-day trial. Link is in the video description. And now let's keep on going. Okay, my friends, and first of all, let's make sure that Plus AI is installed in PowerPoint. And for that, let's go into add-ins and let's search for Plus AI. Here it is. Let's click on add. And you can log in with your Google account. And once the Plus AI loads, you get the following options. You can start a new presentation or you can edit with AI. And with editing with AI, you can insert a single slide at a time. You can rewrite your text. You can remix your slides into different layouts and you can add images and icons. And for now, let's just go with new presentation. And you have a couple of ways that you can create a new presentation. You can start with a prompt, you can upload an existing document, or you can give slide-by-slide -slide instructions. So in this case, let's go with a prompt. And in case you don't have a prompt, you can use the following prompt presets. For example, pitch deck preset, okay, or client proposal. But in this case, I have a prompt that I would like to use. So let's just empty this prompt box. And let me jump into Notepad where I have my beautiful prompt ready okay let's select it all let's hit ctrl c to copy and let's paste it over here and in this prompt i'm basically asking plus ai to create 11 slide consulting style presentation for my fitness app one gym okay so the objective of the presentation is to present ideas for expansion into north america i give details for my audience for the tone and as well i provide slide titles and slide details for all of the 11 slides okay now for the language, let's keep it at English and let's keep the number of slides at auto as well because I've already mentioned in the prompt that I would like 11 slides and let's try picking a different presentation template and since we're creating a consulting presentation, let's go to consulting tab and I think we can go with this one inside modern, okay? Let's use this style and now let's just click on generate outline. And Skadoosh, here it is, our presentation outline. So all of these rows are basically our 11 slides. And now we can click on any of these rows and expand them. And over here, we can drag around all of our slides if we would like to reorder them. And on the right, we can change the slide title, the slide description. And what's also, we can already see what kind of layout is going to be applied to any of our slides. And if we want, we can choose a different layout for any of our slides. So, for example, for the executive slide, we can go into the executive uh, layouts, okay, and let's choose, for example, this layout. That's super duper awesome. And now for the market trends slide, let's make it a bit more visual. Let's go to this category called three sections and let's pick this layout with three images. That's looking beautiful. And now let's say the rest of the slides are looking beautiful and now we can click on generate presentation. And just like that, our presentation is ready. The future of urban fitness, a strategy for market expansion. And first of all, let me check if all of the 11 slides have been successfully generated. Everything looks good. That's beautiful. Let's get back to the top. Let's check what layouts do we have. It looks like we have only two slide layouts. But with Plus AI, we can use the Remix feature to create new slide layouts. And we'll test it out later on. But for now, let's say you'd like to change the colors of your presentation and for that, let's go into the design. Let's expand the color palettes and as you can see, once you go with the mouse over different color palettes, the slide automatically adapts. And I think we can go with the gray scale to keep our presentation modern and minimal. And let's change the colors of these text boxes so that we can see them better. Let's use black for the slide title and let's use this dark gray for the subtitle. And by the way, this first slide is made out of this semi-transparent photo on the right and this uh, white rectangle on the left. And now let's place this rectangle where it was and now let's delete this image and let's insert something new. And for that we can actually use plus AI. Let's click on edit with AI and let's go to add images 
and then we can generate completely new images or we can use this option called Lumi, which gives us access to a images created by other artists okay and now let's just search for example gym app and let's see what options do we get i really like this first photo so let's just insert it into our slide and now my friends we can grab the bottom right corner of this image let's hold down the shift key to increase the size proportionally that's nice let's align this image to the right side and let's go into the picture crop options and let's crop the left side of this photo that's nice and we can as well adjust which part of the image is visible inside of the crop area that's beautiful and now my friends let's say you'd like to change the fonts of your presentation and for that let's go into the design and let's go to font selection okay let's go to fonts and let's click on customize fonts and now over here you can pick one font for your headings so i'm going with this free google font called unbounded and now let's pick another font for our body so i'm going with space grotesque which is as well a free google font and now we can give a name for this font pair and let's click on save and skadoosh now all of our text boxes are using our new beautiful fonts just keep in mind that all of the text boxes in your presentation should be set to either a heading font or a body font because otherwise those font changes will not be automatic but in this case everything is looking easy peasy lemon squeezy okay my friends and next let's say you'd like to add your company logo so let me show you how you can do that easily let me grab this sample logo that i have over here let's copy this guy and let's paste it into our first slide and what i really like about these slides generated by plus ai is that we can go into view click on guides and we have these guides that show us the margins of this slide layout and with the help of these guides we can nicely and precisely position this logo at the top left corner of the slide just like that and by the way as you can see this text box has a little gap between the text and the left margin let me show you how we can fix that let's select the slide title and the subtitle let's right click let's jump into format object let's go into text options okay let's go to text box and now for the left margin let's use zero and this way that text will be sitting flush you know aligned to the left side perfectly aligned with the logo as well okay that's looking beautiful and now we can drag these text boxes up and down until we're happy with how this slide looks that's looking beautiful and next we can jump into these transitions tab and let's pick the fade transition and let's apply this transition to all of the slides this way we'll have a nice subtle transition between all of the slides and now let's say you'd like to add your company logo to the rest of the slides as well let me show you how we can quickly do that let's copy the logo from the first slide and now let's go into view slide master and over here we have the slide master and the two layouts and now we can paste the logo directly into the slide master this way it will be visible on all of the slides and now let's just push this logo to the right side and once again we can use the guides to nicely and precisely position this logo at the top right corner of the slide just like that okay once we're done let's get back to the normal view so on the first slide this logo is at the top left corner of the slide okay and now on the rest of the slides we have this logo on the right side because we have inserted it directly into the slide master and as you remember on the first slide we have this white rectangle at the left and this image and this gray rectangle on the right and i think we can actually delete this gray rectangle we don't need it and let's move the photo back to the right side of the slide so that it covers you know that logo on the right because on the first slide we're using the logo on the left and now let's check it out on the full screen and after the first slide we transition into the executive summary and right away i think we could make a couple of changes on this slide so first of all let me select all of these three text boxes and let me uncheck bold because i think you know unbounded font looks better without the bold and now for this middle text box let's fill it with a darker shade of gray so that it is much more visible and next we can make any other edits that we want you know directly in powerpoint we don't have to jump between different apps we can work directly in powerpoint and make any adjustments that we want and if you feel that some of your text boxes have too much text you can shorten them and for that we can use plus ai let's go to rewrite text let's click on shorten and you can adjust the prompt you're liking but let me keep it the way it is and let's make sure that the text is selected and let's click on rewrite selected text and skidoosh here is a shorter version of this text box and it's always a good idea to have less text on your slides 
And next, my friends, let me show you how we can quickly change the look of this slide, market trends. Let's select these three text boxes, let's uncheck bold, and let's pick a dark gray color so that we can see those text boxes better. That's beautiful. Let's do the same for the subtitle, okay? And next, let me show you how we can add rounded corners to all of these images. Let's select them all. Let's go to crop, crop to shape, and let's choose rounded rectangle. And now we can use that little yellow handle to adjust the roundness of the corners. That's awesome. And now if you would like to quickly animate your slides, it's a good idea to group your slide content into separate groups. For example, we can group each of these images with the text box above and below into separate groups. And this way we'll have three groups that we can animate. So let's select all of these three groups. Let's go into animations and let's add, for example, a fade animation to all of these guys. In the animation pane, we can see we have three animations. Let's make sure all of them start on a mouse click. Okay, and let's check it out on the full screen. So now on the first mouse click, we can see the first group. Now on the second click, the second group. And on the last click, we see the third group. That's super duper awesome. And by the way, here at the bottom of the slide, you can see these two text boxes, copyright and confidential. These are footers that you can change in the slide master view. So let's jump into the slide master view. Let's go into the slide master and over here you can type in anything you wish. For example, instead of 2025, let's change it to 2026. Let's check it out on the full screen again and skadoosh. We have the same animations and now we have this new footer at the bottom. That's nice. And next, my friends, let's test out the remix feature that Plus AI offers. It basically allows you to transform your slides into new slide layouts. So let's say we'd like to make this target segments slide a bit more visual. So let's open up Plus AI and let's go to Remix a slide and let's basically pick a new slide layout. So let's go to this category called images. Okay. And let's pick a slide layout that has some images. So I think three image layout would suit nice to this slide. And now let's just click on Remix a slide. And skadoosh, our slide has been remixed. That's nice. But as you can see, it is using that green style from before. And that is because Plus AI has generated a new slide master. So all we have to do is just grab that layout from the new slide master and drag it into the first slide master that we have already adjusted. And now, as you can see, the text boxes are using our fonts and the colors are set to grayscale. That's nice. And once again, if we feel that some of our text boxes are too long, we can shorten them. Let's go to rewrite text. Let's click on shorten and let's just click on rewrite selected text. And now this text box should become shorter and it does. That's nice. And next, my friends, let me show you a trick that you can use to make these rectangles a bit more interesting. Let's select the first guy. Let's go into the format shape. Let's go into fill options and let's choose a gradient fill. Okay. And now instead of four color stops, all we need are two color stops. And now for the first color, we can use the eyedropper to copy the exact gray color. Let's just switch up the places of these two color stops. And now we can adjust their position until we get what we like. That's nice. And by the way, let's make sure that the first color stop is set to white. Okay, let's make sure that the first color stop is using white. And this way it will look like as if this first rectangle is fading into white. And now we can quickly copy and paste the same style to the rest of the rectangles. And this is what we have. That's nice. Okay, my friends, and next let's try generating just a single slide at a time. This is another feature of Plus AI. So we can decide, you know, what is going to be the slide title. And for that, let me jump back into my notepad. So let's say our new slide is going to be financial projection summary. Let's copy that. Let's paste it into the slide title. And for the description, let me copy some details as well. Have a couple of numbers. So let's paste that back into Plus AI. And I think for this slide, we could choose some kind of slide layout that has charts. So let's go into charts. And for example, let's pick this slide layout that has two charts. And let's click on generate and let's see what we'll get. And here it is. Our new slide has been generated and it is definitely using two charts that correspond to my data. That's nice. And once again, as you can see, it is using that green style. So to fix that, we can go into the slide master view and let's make sure that this new slide layout 
belongs to the first slide master and now it is using the same grayscale with our beautiful fonts. That's super duper awesome. Okay, so just keep in mind that you can generate complete full new presentations or you can insert and generate, you know, single slides at a time as well if you need to do so. That's nice. Congratulations, my friends. Now you know exactly how you can create pro-level consulting slides in PowerPoint that look amazing and are fast to create as well with the help of Plus AI. Once again, link is in the video description. Check it out. You can start with a free 7-day trial. And now let's enjoy the rest of the slides that we have created today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.